This is the story of the rise of Enfield Town Football Club, the first fully fan-owned club in England. Enfield FC, not Enfield Town FC, began life in 1893. The club was, between the 1860s and the 80s, one of the most successful non-league clubs in England, winning the FA Amateur Cup, FA Trophy and Football Conference twice. Enfield FC's story took a sharp turn in 1999. The sale of their beloved Southbury Road Stadium forced them into a nomadic existence, ground sharing with various local clubs. The final straw for some fans came with the decision to settle on a long-term ground share 10 miles away in Boreham Wood. Fearing their team was destined for a future of perpetual struggle and dislocation, a passionate group of supporters banded together to form a trust. Their mission? To secure a stake in the club's future and bring Enfield FC back to its roots in the borough of Enfield. However, for months their efforts to work with Chairman Tony Lazaru were met with resistance. A glimmer of hope emerged in February 2001 with a proposed deal to transfer ownership to the trust. Yet Lazarus' stalling tactics meant progress remained elusive by June, leaving the future of the club hanging in the balance. The sale of Southbury Road left 750 grand earmarked for the new stadium, held in an escrow account. In 2001, Chairman Lazarus demanded the council release these funds despite having no concrete plans for a new stadium. His legal threats eventually succeeded. Dismayed by this turn of events, a dedicated group of supporters took matters into their own hands. They established Enfield Town, a club rooted in Brimsdown with the express goal of preserving the legacy of football within the borough of Enfield. Lazarus owed the club a vast amount of money from the sale of the ground at Southbury Road. A football association herein stated he should repay to the club a sum believed to be in the region of around 200 grand. During the close season at the end of the 2006-07 season, Enfield had no choice but to liquidate due to debts owed to the inland revenue by former chairman Lazarus, forcing the club to resign from the league. Enfield Town approached Enfield proposing a merger, but the Enfield FC officials opted to remain separate and reform the club as Enfield 1893. Enfield Town FC became the first 100% owned fan club and joined the Essex Senior League in 2001. One of those fans to form the club was a man named Dave Bryant. He would become their first ever chairman. Bryant watched his first Enfield game as a seven-year-old, a 4-1 win against Woking. You know what? Let me let him do the talking. I mean, I've been an Enfield fan since I was eight or nine. So my first game at the old Road in 1968 was a regular at Enfield from the 70s onwards. And Enfield was always my team. It wasn't my second team, it was my team. And as, as you go through life at different times, sometimes you, you, you spend more time watching the football than, than, than you do on others. But I've always been an Enfield fan. Sometimes that meant going home and away, sometimes just home games. But when, uh, when the club decided to, uh, to sell Southbury Road, um, I really felt motivated to make a stand on that and to, and, and, and to, and to fight it because I thought it was a terrible, terrible decision to move from South, Southbury Road. And I worked closely with Paul from that moment onwards, really, in fighting the campaign to stop Enfield Football Club selling to Abbey Road because I thought it was a, it was a tragedy. Um, we didn't win that particular battle, and uh, you know that's a, that's 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 a great shame. But we weren't going to let it lie there. You know, even even when we lost that battle, we tried to save Enfield Football. Uh, and we did spend two years trying to save Enfield Football Club before we concluded that there was no way to save Enfield Football Club. Dave Bryant passed away in March of this year. His legacy will be forever intertwined in Enfield Town. In the early 2000s, when the club's future looked bleak, Dave became a beacon of hope. He played a crucial role in creating the club, rising from humble beginnings in the Essex Senior League to the Eastern Premier League. While his loss is keenly felt, Dave's spirit lives on through the club, its fans and the countless supporters inspired by his example. The footballing world remembers a true gentleman, a champion for the community and a legend of Enfield Town. With Dave's passing, Enfield Town still had a job to do. 12 years since their last promotion, they were out to do it for Dave.
This was Enfield Town's third playoff semi-final in 12 years of being in the league. They had never reached a final. Enfield lost at home to Hornchurch in the semis in 21-22. A win would have set up a final against rivals Cheson. It wasn't to be. They lost again in the semis in 1617. <laughs> There was a sense that it could finally be town's time, and in front of a record attendance of 2,225 people, it was Taylor McKenzie's goal that made the difference, sending town to their first playoff final in 12 years. Having reached the final, they would travel to Chatham Town, a club founded 119 years before Enfield Town in 1882. They were also FA Cup quarter-finalists in 1888. The more you know. It was an hour's coach ride for the Towners, and let me tell you, there were some excited fans heading down there. Chatham Town were coming into the match off the back of two back-to-back -back promotions. Only Enfield Town could stop them making it free now. Free man! Fucking hell!
If that doesn't make you feel something, you simply aren't a football fan. Football in its most pure form. Tickets don't cost you 70, 80, 90 quid. You're supporting your most local club that stands for something brilliant in being 100% fan owned. there you have it. Town have reached their highest point in their 23 year history. After 12 years battling to get out of the league, they have finally done it. All eyes will be on staying up next year and then, who knows.